Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching. And with the help of Academy Soccer Coach, I wanted to talk to you about some drills uh, that I came across in a book called 29 World Class Coaching Training Sessions uh, that is available for free on the uh, the website. And I'll put the show, uh, link in that in the show notes so you can check this book out. Uh, but what the session I'm going to talk to you about today is basically a session. Maybe we had a long tournament. Maybe things have just been a little bit too hectic. Um, you know, a lot, maybe kids are coming back from vacation. You're just trying to reintroduce them or they're going on vacation and, you know, you're going to be gone for a while. And you kind of want to have a session that is going to be, yes, you're going to get some things done and there's some concepts you want to get across, but you want them to enjoy it as much as possible. So it's a couple of games, some modified games, some games we've heard of, but modified to be soccer specific. Uh, and it starts with this first one, American Gladiator. I really like the concept behind American Gladiator because you've got your six players in black, your six players in yellow, and it's basically knockout. But this one player in here is working to be the first one to knock all of black's balls out before this player here can knock all of yellow's balls out. So if this player um, is able to kick this out, this player then sits out and waits. Now, usually when I play knockout, I like to have it almost like what we call it zombie knockout, where the player's knocked out, but now they become someone that knocks out the other balls. So we don't want players to be down and not playing um, and waiting around. But if this is a session that you've had a tough weekend or, you know, you played six games over the weekend and you won your tournament and you're trying to reward them, uh, maybe give them that little break. So this player's out and they sit out. And you play this game six times uh, so that every single player – is able to be the defender once and, and get that hard work. And I think it really just talks about, you know, the doggedness, the, the flying around as a defender, and it gives these players a little chance to use their footwork to try to avoid um, the defender. So I think it's a really great way to kind of just start the session. Um, you're getting them active. Uh, you're giving them breaks, uh, but, and, and you're having a lot of fun with it. So that's American Gladiator. That'll be our first one. Then we would move on now, again, even slowing things down a little bit more, where we're going to get – and get these cones off. We're going to take all the balls off and we'll put them off here to the side. And we are going to play a game of kickball. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We'll have our the black teams up to bat. We'll have them line up over here. Come on down. We'll have the yellow team. We'll have a pitcher here. They'll have a pitcher mound set up where they'll have to pitch within this mound here. We'll have one ball and get rid of these. And we will have the rest of our players out here in the outfield. And they'll play the field. And then we'll have the three bases. So play just like normal kickball like you play in the school. Um, let me take some of these guys off. The ball is rolled in. Oh, not those. The ball is rolled in. This player kicks it. They have to get to first base before this player can tag the base. If they try to go for second, they can be the ball can be uh, thrown at them. They're hit. They're out. If they make it to second, they they can go to second base. And we just play normal kickball rules here. Now you can then make it a little more soccer specific in that you can add specific goals or tasks. You can create um, a home run, a line, or something like that. You can create um, gates in which if the ball is able to pass to that, maybe they get an extra run. Uh, you can create options where they have to keep running no matter what to create um, rundowns. So that would look like this. Uh, this player hits the ball. It's kind of a slow roller. Only goes out to this guy. Gets there. He then has to go no matter what. You only get a point if you go all the way around. So he then has to dodge. They try to dodge. Ball rolls over here. He goes a second. He has to continue to run. You can't stop and go all the way. So it's just another modification if you want the players to, you know, instead of them stopping at bases and playing strategy, just to kind of get them a little more physical and running around. And, and you know, the, the agility purpose of it, moving around, dodging the ball, all that kind of stuff. You can kind of do a lot with this. Um, it gives you a ton of options here. As long as your players, I think the hardest part of this, whenever I try to play uh, dodgeball or kick, I kick ball with one of my players is um, there's so many of our guys now that just don't know the rules of kickball or um or baseball in general. So teaching the teaching the fundamentals of baseball and then understanding where the base is and running around is, is probably the hardest part of this one. But once you get it down, the kids will have a lot of fun with it. Um, and now we're going to speed it up a little bit. Maybe we're getting a little bit more soccer specific. And we're going to have one goal. 
one large goal. We'll put that over here. And what we'll do is we'll have those six players. Three, four, five, six. And we'll have our yellow players in here. We'll bring them in. They're facing the wrong way for now, but we'll have them here. We'll have one cross of the ball, generally probably the coach. A bunch of balls over here. Make yellow so it's not uneven here. And we will call this one crossing Wembley. You can have a goalie, you can not have a goalie. It's, it's really up to you what you want with your team. Um, for younger players or you know um, even older players, maybe it's the best not to have a goalie just because it's going to be so much of a scramble. But it, it's kind of depending on what your situation is with your players and your goalie. So ball is played in. If it's scored off of a header in the goal initially, plays dead. If it's scored off a volley, plays dead. You can create different point values depending on what you want. If you want your players, if you don't feel like they're getting up for uh, headers in the in the uh, 18 or you you feel we're not getting enough balls in the back post or second balls, uh, you can award extra points. If it's a second ball, you can award extra points. If it's a header, um, whatever you want to do. But once this ball is not initially scored and drops, it is then just a scrum. And we're seeing if someone can just try to poke it over the line, whether it's yellow or it's red, or whether it's yellow or it's black. Similar just, you know, when you're playing World Cup and there's a scramble from the save, it's just that, just that's the entire game. So that ball's played, goal, as soon as that's done, another ball. So it's high intensity, high paced. Um, you're going to play a couple, maybe three balls, take a break, three balls, take a break. So again, you're getting, you're getting bursts of energy. It's fun. They're getting something out of it, um, but they're still kind of getting that, uh, they're not mentally breaking down where they're, it's a serious session and you're going step by step and you're, you're trying to teach concepts. It's fun. They're getting something out of it. It's soccer specific. And again, you can assign point values to try to promote whatever specific skill that you're trying to integrate. So again, all these sessions are really good. If it's something you're trying to wind down, you're trying and a fun session, they won their tournament. They had a long weekend. You, you just feel like you're not getting a lot out of your sessions because they just don't seem focused. There's kind of things are getting monotonous. This is a great session to kind of jump around and, and have some fun with it. And again, modify it as you need based on your players, based on the, the amount of recovery they need and, you know, based on the age groups. But I think really for any group, this is going to be a lot of fun. So my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching with the help of Academy uh, Soccer Coach. And from uh, 29 World Class Coaching Training Sessions, uh, I hope that you really enjoy this session and I hope it finds you well.